Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. Let us read the question one time. Determine the locations of plastic hinges in the fixed beam subjected to UDL for a distance of A from the left support and make an expression for the plastic movement. A fixed beam is given. In the fixed beam, we have uniformly distributed load for the distance of A from the left support. We have to find the locations of plastic hinges and we have to make an expression for the plastic movement. We know that in the fixed beams, in the fixed ends, we have plastic hinges. There will be one more plastic hinge that will be under the uniformly distributed load. We have to find that location. This is the bending moment diagram during the collapse. To get this ordinate, we have to consider this beam as a simply supported beam. Let us see how this ordinate comes. Let us consider a simply supported beam subjected to UDL for a distance of A from the left support. If this distance is A, this distance should be L minus A. Let us find the reaction RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive and the distance is L. So, RA into L. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative. The UDL is acting for the distance of A. So, we have to multiply with A. Then, we have to open a bracket. We have to take half of this distance. So, A upon 2. Then, we have to add the remaining distance. So, plus L minus A. A upon 2 minus A. We will get minus A upon 2. For these two terms, we can take LCM. 2 into L, we will get 2L. We can take this term on the right side. So, it will be positive. Let us take L on the right side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, we have made an expression for RA which is equal to WA into 2L minus A upon 2L. Let us assume the maximum bending moment occurs at C which is at a distance of X from the left support. Let us find the bending moment at C. RA is acting in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive and the distance is X. So, RA into X. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Here, the distance is X. So, X into X by 2. X into X, we will get X square. This is the expression for the bending moment at C. This is how this term comes. During the collapse, here we will have the plastic moment MB. Here we will have MB and here also we will have MB. If this height is MB, this height also should be MB. This total height should be equal to this term. The total height is MB plus MB. So, we can equate MP plus MB with this term. MP plus MB is the 2MB. Then, we can take 2 on the other side. 2 into 2, we will get 4. And 2 into 2, we will get 4. For MB to be maximum, 
we have to differentiate mb with respect to x and we have to equate that to 0. When we differentiate x, it will be 1. When we differentiate x square, it will be 2x. 2 twos are 4. Then we can take this term on the other side. It will be positive. We can eliminate wc. 2 twos are 4. Finally, for x, we are getting a into 2l minus a upon 2l. This is the position of the third plastic hinge. In this equation for x, let us apply this. 2l into 4l, we will get 8l square. 2l minus a into 2l minus a, we will get 2l minus a, the whole square a into a, a square. We can square a and take outside. Also, we can square 2l minus a and take outside. 2l square is 4l square. 4l square into 4, we will get 16l square. Now, we can add these two terms very easily. 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 16, we will get 1 upon 16. So, for mb, we will get wc a square into 2l minus a, the whole square, upon 16l square. Now, let us see two standard cases. First, if udl is acting for the full span, in this formula, instead of a, we have to apply l. 2l minus l, the whole square, we will get l square. Then we can eliminate L square. For MB, we will get WC L square upon 16. And for WC, we will get 16 MB upon L square. Now let us see the second case where UDL is acting for the half span. In this formula, instead of A, we have to apply L upon 2. Here we can take LCM. 2L into 2, we will get 4L. We can square this term and take outside. 4 into 16, we will get 64. 3L square is 9L square. 2 square is 4. Then we can eliminate L square. 64 into 4, we will get 256. For MB, finally, we will get 9WC L square upon 256. And for WC, we will get 28.44 MB upon L square. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.